Uh, we were talking backstage. You were yep. here, the last time you were here was right before your show started. That's right, yes, two and, years ago. Two years ago, yeah, and the other ago. guest that night uh, was an up-and-coming politician named mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and had you met her before? Was that I had never, that was the first time I ever met her, and my friend Alana totally rushed her in her dressing room and made, <laughs> made us take a picture together, and it's so blurry because we're all too excited. <laughs> okay, that's great. <laughs> uh, I think that's nice. Uh, to, to have a, a photo so blurry to show the moment exactly. is great. Yeah. Um, how, uh, compared to what you thought it would be like and what it's been like, how has your show affected you over these last two years? Well, <laughs> as a citizen, I would say it's a similar experience <laughs> yeah. where I thought it was going to be one way and it became another way. <laughs> Yeah. But it um it's been a it's been a very wild ride. It's been really fun. It's been invigorating uh -huh. and terrifying and a lot of different things. Well essentially. that's good. Yeah. I certainly enjoy watching it. I uh another show I really enjoy watching, you actually share a studio with mm -hmm. uh, Last Week Tonight with John I do. Oliver. Yes. And you guys have obviously known each other for a long time. Yeah, we you used have. to work together. Uh, sharing the same physical space, do you ever uh, leave notes for one another? We never really cross paths that much, but I did actually, I did engrave my, I did engrave something in his desk, and I don't know if he knows that. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I took like a knife, I don't know, I guess I was randomly holding a knife, and I think <laughs> under his desk, as one does, <laughs> under his desk somewhere, it says like, Sambi was here. Oh, and, that's yeah. great. What yeah. a fun thing to find one day. I know. Well, and then probably work backwards to the same question of why did Sam have a knife? It's been years. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, yeah. Your show, obviously, very hard on mm -hmm. uh, the president. Uh, to a point that some people believe there is uh, something shady going on. There's a bit of a conspiracy theory out there about your show. Yes, my dad has a lot of friends who think that they have conspiracy theories about me. They think that every time I mention Hillary Clinton, I get $25. <laughs> Which I do because we're best friends, but I'm sure you get that too. I mean, everybody thinks that when you make jokes in the yeah. political comedy sphere that like George Soros provides you with. Yeah, it's so funny to me that no one thinks you could just come to these conclusions independently without, yeah, no, 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 no. without cash uh, reward. It's for a $25 per, per DM. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just cruising along with all that sweet, sweet George Soros cash. And uh, last Friday, uh, you, so you guys are off for a little bit. You were saying, because we were. obviously Friday, uh, we, know we had to wait till today. You guys yes. uh, are going to approach it uh, this in two days on Wednesday. I know you have to do it every day. Uh, I'm so sorry. No, but no, I, I mean, like, no, it's I good. think there are great difficulties to doing it once a week as well. Yes, yeah. there are. I mean, you get to do, I mean, you get to cover the new, you, you get to, you well, get to do it every day. I think it's so much is, um, uh, I'm trying to find the, the right word for it. Oh, so much is out every day that <laughs> no. doing the show every day, you're just like, well, we're just running around with a sure. bucket. Totally. Like you're an actual plumber who like might actually fix the toilet. We get the we get the fire hose in the face <laughs> of feces as well. Yeah. But we get to sit back and kind of analyze for a, you know a couple of days at least. But you know, there's a lot of man things to talk about. Yeah. You. uh... <laughs> Not you. No, no, others. I know, but and there are as of... as a at being on Team Man, it's been. A, I feel like I we're not a, it's a rough not ride. a great week. We need yeah. to like fire our coach and hire a new GM I know or something. You do. Um, what, but what on Friday? Obviously, the plea deal happens. Uh huh. I, what is the reaction in the uh, full frontal offices? Uh, well, okay. There's a moment. I guess what when it comes to the plea deal, it really is sad what passes for joy. Yeah. Because you feel that free song where you're like, oh, it's so exciting. And then you're like, everything, I, every smile is joyless. <laughs> every piece of laughter is mirthless. Like I remember I woke up Friday morning and I listened to the New York Times podcast and they were really uh, intensely talking about how the the tax bill was like a trillion dollars off. And I LOL'd, I was like, ah, a trillion dollars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then it, and it passed, and yeah. so it's really a trillion and a half. Don't worry. Uh, I, I, we listened to the same podcast. I don't know if you found this recently. Mm -hmm. uh, the music is very triggering now. The music is triggering. <laughs> yeah. It's the daily. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's uh, I sometimes the news is so bad that I just speed it up. Like I try to listen to it just like talking very fast. Like, and now it looks like we're going to pass the bill, and it's going to be one point five million. It's going to hurt the middle class. I'm like, oh, just get it out. Just get it out. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to spend a lot of time with this. <laughs> right.